Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Right Reality Podcast. Hello again. How are you guys? Hi. Hey, Mix. Hi, Steven. How are you? How are you? Uh, we're here. We are here, aren't we? We're here. We're here. Despite, we're here. We're here. Despite the hate, we are back again. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're here. Despite some messages, we are here. Mm-hmm. We're physically here you know what that, that seems like a good place to start we should honestly probably address this uh massive elephant that's been in our dms and in, in the hotties that we have refused yeah. to post because it's it's hurt a little uh you know I, I think that we need to address the elephant in the room what do you think uh, address away address away we made an agreement steven do you remember an agreement that we made about oh god Three oh, to four weeks ago, about a little show. Oh yeah, called Bachelor in Paradise. And oh, we did. You said, yeah, that there was no possible way that they weren't bringing back Bachelor in Paradise. That is true. Now, is it official? You, if you had looked at the timeline, because we love a timeline. If you check the timeline of when Bachelor in Paradise has been announced. You want to know when that is? Uh, usually by now. April. Yeah. Yeah. You know what they didn't announce? Bachelor in Paradise yet. Correct. You know yeah. who you who owes me money? Uh, I don't owe you anything yet. That is bullshit. The bet was that there would be Bachelor in Paradise this year. I it has yet to you just Hold think because they're filming. Hold on, they're filming Bachelorette right now. Hold on, let's not pretend like they're not filming something else. I'm right looking. Now. I'm not what? seeing it. You think I'm gonna pay you out while they're still filming? They Bachelorette? didn't announce it. It doesn't exist. What do you think they're gonna come out and say? Hey, that show you all like? We're definitely not redoing. We're not doing it anymore. No, they're yes. just gonna announce Golden Bachelorette. They would they would start filming Golden Bachelorette, and that's probably when I would pay you out, because they would start filming that it's, probably it's in June, happening. and by the time that's done, it's probably too late to film Paradise at that point. I, I just would like you to address that elephant that you were wrong and that you owe me money. Am I crazy? What's going on here? There's no way I'm paying you out for that. The fact that you think I owe you money you do. while they're still filming Bachelorette, which, by the way, is where they would get some of the men for this show. Um, no. Steven. No chance. Listen, when they start filming Golden Bachelorette, we will discuss it. When ABC kind of says we're going to pass on Paradise They're not going to ever make that announcement. When that my announcement's boy, not going to happen. They're just not going to do it. Listen, I'm going to send this clip on Twitter to Mr. Robert Mills. Shout out, Mills. Uh, Mr. Robert Mills, I used to call into the Bachelor live recap on uh, EW. Uh, shout out, old school, uh, Channel 105. You know, uh, you know. Um, serious, if you need some people to <laughs> fill some time gaps on your tele- on your not your television, your radio program, you know, you're serious, you know, whatever. Oh, we're here for you. We're here for you. Uh, I, Mr. I need Robert this, Mills. Mr. Excuse me, Mr. Mills, man. Steven owes me money, and for some reason, he's hiding behind you now at this point, and I don't really understand it, but if you could tell Steven that he needs to pay me, I guess a man needs to tell Steven? God forbid he listen to a woman. Whoa. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? And also, if we're going to refer to Mr. Robert Mills, let's refer to him by his official title, Senior Vice President of Specials and Late Night Programming for ABC entertainment i believe that's the full title okay well that guy needs to tell you that you owe me money mr robert mills sir let me know if i have to send her any money (laughs) and also maybe i'll send this to julia cunningham shout out julia cunningham former host of la daily uh old school 105er right here um let me know if you know anything that i need to pay mixie out on this because as of now i don't owe you Jack shit. You I owe me you money and you're hiding behind shit. this man with a very long job title and I don't understand why. Well, listen, when you have a long job title, you know what nobody does? Question you. 
question you. You're questioning Nobody him. Nobody questions you. You're the one that brought him into this conversation. I'm another. Who is this man? I don't know. I just want my money. You think I'm making somebody up? A fictitious <laughs> character for this argument? You seem to be dodging the point, which is there is no paradise, and you bet me that there would be. Sometimes I just have to learn. Where is it? To stop having the same conversation again. Oh, I'll keep, I'll go all around. day. I'll look for a whole I, hour I'm podcast. Full, we will not I'm address the actual are. elephant in the room. We'll keep talking about this one. Mr. Robert Mills, sir. <laughs> Julie Cunningham. People of the Bachelor community. Please let me know if I owe this woman money. I don't think I will owe her money. I think we're still getting Paradise and Golden Bachelor this year. I still think it's happening. That's all the money I that think you owe once, me. Raining down once on me. all these bitches are done at Stagecoach this weekend, uh, they can get ready and in their Vial's tiny wedding. bikinis. Don't, don't forget it's Nick Vial's wedding this weekend. Is it really? Yes, sir. So people have made the choice to go to either Nick Vial's wedding or Stagecoach? Uh-huh. What a absolute... Horrific decision that these influencers have to make. That's so him, though, to be like, I'm gonna make people decide yeah. between the the, yeah. the event that they yeah. all love every year yeah. and my wedding. And if they don't come to my wedding, I guarantee you he'll make some comments in the next two to three months on a Ugh. shitty little fucking podcast about how so and so didn't come. Nick Vial. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? The absolute anguish that some of these people are like, oh, God, do I go to Vial's wedding or do I go to... That's a business decision. On both Listen, ends, that's I, a business decision. Exactly. What is the better I, connections, at Stagecoach or at Nick Vial's oh. wedding? And people are like, God, what am I, what am I going to do? I mean, yeah. Stagecoach, I can post three days worth of content, three days worth of fit, three days worth of being a brand ambassador, mm-hmm. or I just want to wear one fit to Vial's wedding. Well, you, know? you got the welcome party... You got yeah. like I'm sure they're at a nice destination where they can get a nice pool shot. Oh, I've seen so many pool shots. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And a lot of them are the same pool. I'm they're sure the it same is. Pool. Yeah. There's yeah. only so many pools in Palm Springs. There's only so <laughs> many that brands can rent out yeah, uh, at a price point that make it worth them uh-huh. to do this, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Should we actually talk about the fact that, that everybody's mad at us about the challenge? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm tired, okay? <laughs> I, listen, I'm not good up here. I'll just I'll just state it like that. Not good. And she's she's pointing to her brain, everybody, okay? For those of yes, you my just tits listening. Are fine. My brain is not. You're right. Thank you for, for clarifying to our audio listeners. Yeah. yeah. Um This takes a lot out of us both. Um, I am just personally not in a good place to be doing that. This is honestly good for me, what we're doing now, where we just kind of talk about life. This is good. Um, Steven worked very hard on trying to... Are we going to tell them what we were going to try to do? Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. (laughs) We were going to try to live stream and do like a watch along where you guys could watch the show with us as we were going because that would have cut out a lot of the time that we've been putting into this of writing notes and going back and pulling images and all that stuff. Plus Steven edits those very heavily compared to these. Um, So we were going to try to do that. Steven worked his ass off on it. There were still some kinks in it. I was like, I'm fucking tired. And to be honest with you guys, we told you months ago, we weren't doing this. Like I'm not, I'm trying really hard to not be like an an asshole because I really appreciate you all listening and I understand that you want us to watch the show with you. And I haven't watched it yet. I know Steven has and I've heard great things. I'm excited to watch it when I have some time. But we told you a long time ago we weren't doing (laughs) And then we still even tried something else. So like we've been doing this for what, a year, Steven? Yeah, part of this is on MTV and Paramount for just making this a season wrong thing. We did say, we did say that we were going to only do flagship. I understand the fact that you love us and you want us to do content. Thank we you. We get that. <laughs> this is easier. I think um, there's a thought that if we just do audio only, it's easier. That is not true. Uh, there's still, like, basically, not to get in the weeds, you know. 
It's pretty much the same. I, I have to do basically four things. We watch it, research it, we record it. I then go back and edit it, which takes twice as long as it takes to record it. And then there's the post side of getting everything actually up and posted. Not to complain about that because no, uh, we, like we enjoy it. doing it. Yes. And yes, we've been able to do other shows. But we've enjoyed the other shows. It's just basically MTV did this. Blame <laughs> MTV, right? If they gave us maybe another three, four months. Yeah. We're probably in a different conversation right now. Why are we doing the, the USA stuff? If that stuff didn't yeah. exist, I'd be all over All Stars. Yes. They should have given us this show before they did USA because it's very clear it was filmed before that because it was filmed in the World Championship House. Yep. Um, which is, by the way, why they're still doing previously on because they didn't stop that. Oh, I saw that, of course. Of course. We're not, we're, we're not, we're, that's that direct shot at us, direct <laughs> shot at us. Like, oh, you're not going to do it? Well, we had these and we were not going to do them, but we'll throw them in there for you, which by the way, they're great. Anywho, I want to be very point. clear. If you're going to be mad at anyone, be mad at me. Steven has been trying to push <laughs> me to do this as well. And I'm just like, no, I'm sorry, guys. I, I need, I need a break from that world and the amount of work that that world requires. I love it. We will come back, as we said numerous times. Also, yeah. it's good for us as a podcast to be doing this different stuff. It's good for us. It will benefit you. If we have, pe- if we get to a point where we are very successful, more successful than we already are, AO, we're obviously, killing it. Obviously, obviously. But if we have people that can help us do some of this other stuff, then maybe we could bring yes. back all of these other versions of the challenge. That is kind of where I was getting to. So- we need to be able to grow and expand this and being completely transparent with you guys, we need to be able to do things like this to get a bigger audience, to be able to make some money in order to hire people to help us do some of this work, which would then allow us to give you even more content. You want all stars, you want temptation Island, you want all of three of them at the same time. Great. Guess what? It takes a staff to be able to do that. So that's where we're trying to get to. And the only way to do that is try to expand this audience. We've been hammering this for a very long time. I've been in this obviously longer than Mixie. Yeah. We've kind of feel like we've capped out as where we can expand this with just a challenge audience, even doing everything we know we could do, posting clips, doing all this type of stuff. It didn't really make that much of a difference in getting that. I know some people want it to be the old school thing where we're doing reviews and we're adding hotties. Guess what? There's no new hotties to add. There hasn't been a new hottie in probably three, four months. There's not been a review in two to three more months, right? There's mm-hmm. maybe been one or something like that. Yep. So we've kind of capped out on that. It's not that we have like gone away from that. It's just that those things are not currently available. And this is where we feel like we need to go. I've been trying with uh, I've been trying to figure out a way of like satisfying that by doing the live stream. But yeah, there's some issues with that from a technology standpoint that I just don't feel like I want to put my name on something that's not great because i've always complained about people who just put out shit where content is not good enough just to put out content that's exactly. just like well here you go here's uh something behind a patreon um also we're we're not making any money from this i just got charged on my credit card yesterday for this program that we're recording on to do video uh we don't make money we're monetized on youtube but guess what that gets us it only gets us if you want to add a super like i think is the term <laughs> Or something like that to like a live video or whatever, which again, we're not doing. No. We don't get ads on YouTube, even though we're quote unquote monetized. We make absolutely no money from this podcast other than last summer where you guys went to town on Liquid IV. That paid off the year subscription of all the stuff, but that's literally it. So, And I also want to state very quickly, we're not complaining. We love you guys. We want to yes. give you what you yes, want. Yes, 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 we yes, really yes. do. But we yeah. also were working full time jobs and have other yeah. things going on in our lives. And for us to be the best version of us on this podcast, we need to take a little tiny itty bitty step back from the challenge for this current season. Yeah. That being, I'm still watching it. That being I, said, I still yeah, enjoy you're watching it. it. And I think I'm you have some stuff it. to talk about about it. I yeah? do. I do. We'll get into that in just a moment. But yes. Uh, we're trying to do stuff. That's what part of this is, but we need to be doing something like this, which is fun. If you want to know what happens 
to a podcast that continuously does the challenge and takes no breaks, listen to every other fucking one of them out there. You want to know why it sounds like they're dead inside? Because they are fucking dead inside. They're not entertaining because they've been burned to the fucking ground by the board. Oh, and then they're going to do, oh, we're going to rewatch season 29. <laughs> Great. Good for you. Enjoy. Yeah. I don't want to rewatch. Mm-hmm. I watched it. It needs to be fresh in the moment. Have great takes. In order to have the energy we have to do these things, we have to be excited about watching. And right now, that's not happening. She's got stuff. I completely uh, support her decision to say no on things. That's something we said early on. Thank you. Whenever it's, whenever it's something where either of us feel like we need to say no, we say no. So that's where we're at right now. But we're still trying to give you something from us. And right now, just talking and chatting is something that's easy because literally, I don't think there's any edits in this motherfucker. Unless Mixie says something that I have to bleep. Which is also a reason I was scared about the live stream, by the way. I don't even know if there'd be a podcast. See, I'm helping you guys. I could get us completely kicked off the platform. Uh, other than that, I think that's the only real edit I, I, I've i had. There's been like one or two where I've had to like rearrange stuff. But other than that, there's a bleep and then pretty much just string it together and uh, hit publish. So that's where we're at right now. We wanted to make sure we addressed it. And we didn't feel like just like writing something. We're not great typers <laughs> and spellers of words, as you know. You know? Yeah. So this felt like the most authentic way and also for the people who are not in the hotties which i mean <laughs> idiots um this yeah is join the great... hotties maybe we'll talk about the hotties if people join yeah but uh but you're not so we're not we're not we're not, we're not saying names we're not saying triple uh... names i'm not calling your family hot because there's no hot new people families joining the hotties I don't exactly know. exactly it's on you at this point so now because i'm such a great person a because i'm a man of the people that Give is her. him. Give her. And there are six stars on this season of All Stars, which again, we can workshop that name because let's be honest. Um, <laughs> I have three good stars oh. and three bad stars so far about the first four episodes of the Challenge All Stars filmed in 2021 which is when i think That's they filmed crazy. this i don't know that is insane i think it was actually i think it was actually 2022 or 2023 but i was just i should no, have said I like 1990 I, like I should it. have said 1990 to get the point across you know what i mean <laughs> but here we are okay mixie i asked you do you want to start with the good stars or the bad stars well i feel like the audience is mad at us right now for what, everything that we just said so why don't we start with the good stars we'll start with the good stars Yay! Can't wait, for, can't wait for the reaction of what we've just said. Okay. <laughs> well, you're able to record this. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, number one. Don't send that one to us. It's do not, it. Do it. We understand. DM it to me. <laughs> no. Don't. Be prepared. Let me add him. Be prepared for the firing line. Okay. Number one. Good star. You know it. It's very obvious. The music is absolutely fire it's gas oh it's it's rizzing no things. come on no? there's one that's right in front uh, of you i mean yes but there's one. lit it's yes lit. yes ah! we ah! got there we got there fucking right <laughs> the music is lit mm-hmm. and yes there's been hotties comments about is s did they put s club in there to just be like hey we heard you weren't reviewing us which again we said um <laughs> Just stating for the record, you didn't get all the way through Smasher Pass, which is on you mm-hmm. and other episodes. Anywho, yep. um, S Club was that in there because they knew we weren't reviewing there? Like maybe this will make him do it. Obviously, yes. Obviously, yeah. you didn't need to tell us. Uh-huh. We all knew. <laughs> okay, and then Spice Girls, like Spice Up Your Life, I think was one. Mm-hmm. Like I mean. Obviously, the music is fire. Fire. It always is on all Gas. Stars. It's not gas lighting. That's no. different. No. 
I'm good at that. Diff. <laughs> that's different. Uh huh. Um, but that's number one. Okay? Okay. okay. Music is absolutely on point. It's fantastic. I saw number that Mark two. Long is the producer. Do you think that that's on him? I feel like he would. Obviously, obviously, the Godfather just knows everything that's phenomenal and yeah. correct. I'm going to give him credit for that. I have no yeah, yeah, yeah. reason to give him credit for that, but I'm going to give it no. to him. Okay. A giver. Congratulations. Both Mark of Long. us. Number two, Tina. Tina is great television. Yeah. She knows what to do. Mm-hmm. She knows when to like egg things on, when to go over the top. She's a soundbite machine. Mm-hmm. She's terrible at politics, <laughs> but she's great at making entertaining content at the highest levels of television. This is pure talent mm-hmm. being shown on our television, and it's like she's never left. It's like she's only gone in a laboratory and been like, how can I just be better? While everyone else in the house is just like, this is serious. Like, I have my life. <laughs> Tina's just out here living it uh-huh. up, just yeah. having a fun time. Absolutely. Right? So Tina is star number two. Number three, the format. Number three is the format. It's a really great format. I signed an NDA. Me and Mixie both signed an NDA. Yeah. That <laughs> may or may not be the reason the format is so good this year. Mm-hmm. Again. We're not able to discuss. It is not for us to disclose. If we helped with the format of this season. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a really smart format. You need stars to get to the final. There's big and small teams. There's great dailies. The voting system with the mid with the midfield, if you will. Yep. Really, really smart system, including in the format. It's the nostalgic factor. We're going to show you old pieces or we're going to do old dailies. We're going to have dailies that like represent old school stuff with the Winnebago from Road Rules and then like all the things. Like it was just really smart. And again, there's not much else I can say because we signed NDAs. We did do that. Okay. We Mm -hmm. definitely signed NDAs. And again, that's all we can say about Sorry, our hands are tied. They're tied. Right now they're free. (laughs) They're but when it comes to that, tied. they're tied. <laughs> they're tied. Okay? Yes. Bad stars? Bad stars. Bad stars. I feel Number like I'm playing Tony. Mario Party. These are like the bonus stars. Yes. That's great. Great <laughs> but reference. they're bad. But they're bad. You don't want these ones. <laughs> yeah. But you want them in Mario Party, you don't want them in this. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one, Tony leaving. Tony Reigns, your number one smash mix. Leaving the show because something was going on at home. Yeah, I feel bad it's for not, him. Not clear what was going on at home. There are internet sleuths trying to be like, well, does this timeline line up with this timeline? And how about this? And how? Let him so, live. Uh, let him live. Let Go him touch live, grass. Laugh, love. Don't, I'm going to get into a, a thing. Go outside. Look at the fucking sun with sunglasses on. I don't want to get sued for burning your retinas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and touch some fucking grass. Let these people fucking live. Jesus Christ. Let them live. Let them, let them live. Listen, what they do on the show, we can talk about. Yeah. If they have to go home for family stuff, uh, whatever, you know? Now, if you leave because you don't like someone in the house and you're just like, I don't want to do this anymore, maybe we'll have a discussion about that. Uh, that's that's fair game. That's fair game. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you don't come on the show after you yelled that you were never going to come on the show again. You think it was fixed and rigged and you didn't want to be on the show anymore. And then you leave after three. You know what? Maybe we would talk about that. Maybe we would. But we're currently not because we're not <laughs> reviewing the show. But if we were, that would be a big conversation part of episode two. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then the fact that nobody came in to replace said person. But then when Tony Raines left, there was a man to come in to replace it. So again... What what do you have? What what's what's you don't love women? You don't love women? Oh oh oh! We are throwing accusations. I like it. No, <laughs> yeah, I what the it. hell? <laughs> hey, how dare you? Unbelievable! Oh gosh. Okay, so that's that's number that star bad star number one hmm. bad star number two. 
Are we trying to make car and cam rivals here? I don't like this. I don't want to see yeah, this. Yeah, I've seen some stuff about that on Twitter. What are we doing? Is this editing? Is this really happening? Also, like Cam, uh, this stemmed from Cam, I think, being upset that Carr didn't support her. I'm putting that in air quotes because she did. She she didn't want to put Rachel in to make sure that Ayana went home. But if I did my maths right, it was already predetermined, so it didn't matter. And then, like. Ka- like versus Kara saying this is what you get for not supporting her choice from the vote when it was vo- like it was it was voted already and then Kara calling Kara entitled T. because she doesn't support you seems I don't know what's the word I'm looking for when you think somebody should be doing the things to support you but it's different and oh entitled maybe <laughs> maybe that's the word I was looking for I I calling wasn't. somebody entitled while also doing something that seemed a little entitled. Listen, Cam, just I, I, I don't know what's going on, mm-hmm. but I don't want this to be a narrative of basically like the two, you know, f- two of the four female stars of this show right now. Yeah, they're pitting them against some each other. Sort of, let's 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 not do that. Okay, yeah. please. Let's not do that. It seems like this is going to be something on the season, and this is why it's getting set up now. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. Bad star number three. Okay. I just mentioned this person. Ayana. End of conversation. Okay. I don't think I have to say too much about that if you're watching the show. Mm-hmm. I think we're good with her for a little while. I have a question. I mean- Entertainment wise, fantastic. Okay. Le- Leroy leaving a deliberation because he's like, I'm just not listening to this anymore. <laughs> fantastic television. But also terrifying. Mm-hmm. Like, terrifying. The fact that Jasmine went from zero to 280 miles an hour because of her, fantastic television. But also, we love it. We, we love it for that reason. But overall, you know, I'm going to go back to what I said during Smasher Pass. I never trust somebody who's stealing salads. Stealing <laughs> food? Red flag. And of red course, flag. I was proved absolutely correct for this season so far. I have a question just to round out All-Stars because it's, yeah, it's yeah, important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Avery holding up to where you had her in your books? Is she the rat queen? How dare you? I... I uh, shut shut your mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth. How? I just wanted to know. D- how d- uh, dare you even begin to be like she doesn't hold up to being the rat queen? Well, you know, photos are different than how they look on camera. We haven't seen her in a while, so Are you listening to this, guys? I are just you hearing the words coming out of her mouth right now? <sighs> this guy with all of this energy, where was that when you owed me money earlier? But that's fine. Oh, I gave you the energy because uh, <laughs> you don't get shit right now. You didn't now, give me okay? the money. Eh, you don't get the money until you win the money. It's like, hey, the ball is spinning on roulette. You just want to give me the money? No. No. I got to wait for the ball to end up in the wrong number before I give you the money. Casino. If the ball is flat, then it doesn't matter what bucket it's going into. It doesn't exist. The ball's not there. There is no ball. What alternate universe are we living in where there's no ball in roulette? You don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm saying in the- You're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing yourself. In the paradise realm of this thing, there is no ball because paradise doesn't exist. Somebody who works in TV production just doesn't understand how TV production works. They're yeah. Not, I, not, I, I, again, I'm good it. at gaslighting. We're back to how I got Great the job. for gaslighting. <laughs> Great at gaslighting. And you know what? Mixie, should I be a man of the people right now? Should I be a man of the people? I'm scared of what that means, but go should ahead. Should I be a man of the people right now? Go for it. Or do you, do you think there was people like already starting to like type us messages? Oh, I'm sure uh, our, we're getting. Okay. Messages and, so here's and comments thing. right I'll now about one, how ungrateful we are. I'll give you one more star if you just don't send that message. Just don't, don't, 
So I'm sending message. Send it anyway. You know what? Send the message. I don't care. Uh, I'll give you an extra star anyway because I'm a man of the people. Extra star. Uh, the extra bad star. Whoever oh. decides the eliminations needs to be fired immediately. Needs to be fired immediately. I saw a clip immediately. of Kara throwing stars with Rachel, and I'm like, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? You have Kara and Rachel facing off an elimination, and you're going to have them go to Disneyland <laughs> and throw darts at balloons for a fucking stuffed aminal? I- no. Not on my watch. Were they pissed? Not on this podcast. We're not going to do it. I haven't seen the episode where Rachel and Kara was like anything said that was like, okay. Oh, Mi- oh, Mixie. They were horrific at it. They were throwing things over the board to the right of the board, the left of the board. I think they had to move the camera operators because they were in serious danger. <laughs> serious danger. Yeah, they were like ninja stars or some they, shit. The people watching were sitting down by the end of this. Oh, God. This is how that long took this took. Forever. Time. Forever. You know, sometimes Call I us. want production to step in and be like, we're not going to do this. I know people think we rig this. Yeah, rig this part a little bit for me, okay? Rig it. Rig away. I don't understand give how me, that stuff happens. Give me any other elimination. We had a great one last week. It's not that we've been getting shit eliminations. Give me that one again. Just be like, ah, we didn't move it because, you know, supply chain. So we're just going to do it again. And I would have been completely okay. We all would have been like, oh, the supply chain. We didn't know that that was why. Obviously, our little, you know, things that we have to tape on with your faces (laughs) didn't show up yet. So, yeah, we're going to we're going to leave the other elimination. Throwing stars? Fuck right off. How dare you? How dare you do that to us? With those two people? Not a fan. (sighs) Not a fan. Awful. Awful. Literally, the two worst people. The two worst situations that can happen with is her and Kara. Yeah. Maybe give me like Laurel and Kara or like Laurel. Um, Yeah, Laurel and Kara maybe Mm -hmm. would be... Probably the worst. Maybe Laurel and Rachel, honestly. But what a horrific decision to do that. Not oh, it. Awful. All right. That concludes Steven's. Steven trying to make up for the fact that Mixie doesn't want to do Challenge All Stars. Thank you very much for that. I don't really want to do it either. <laughs> okay. I don't. I need. I also need a break for this. Yeah. Shit's insane. And it's just going to reinvigorate us. When it's going to do... make it better. It's going to make 24 episodes of season 40 what you want. So <laughs> listen, they get rid of all star they get rid of uh USA. Yeah, we're Guess back. What? There's only there's only two versions for us to have to recap. Get mad at CBS. Just saying. Just Honestly, you know whose fault saying. this is? Sarah. Fuck Sarah. We're going to bring it all the way back around. That goddamn bitch sent me into a spiral. I hate her. You know what? You know where I haven't eaten? Since Sarah was brought onto our television set? She ruined it. Arby's. I can't go to Arby's. I love Arby's. You can't go and see that the general oh. manager of Arby's, you know? Uh, assistant manager, I think. Yes. Uh, assistant manager. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I was... I can't go and get a delicious beef and cheddar with extra Arby sauce on the side because, yeah, I'm afraid <laughs> I'm going to see that roast beef bitch. Yeah, you will see that roast beef yeah. bitch. She lives there. <laughs> she lives there. And she's just like... Was it you who was talking shit about me? And I'm like, oh my God, give me my big beef and cheddar. Let me get out of here. I'm the best, even though I haven't won anything. Just in the corner, flipping flipping her roast beef. I, I am, they're so scared of me. They don't even know. <laughs> I'm coming you, for them. They're so scared of me. Also, do you want a side of mozzarella sticks for $1.49? I did not finish the Sudoku puzzle. There is no proof that I did it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I definitely finished it. Oh, yeah. fuck her. Okay. We're, Anyways, we're... let's let's get back on track here. What else are we talking about today? Well, I wanted to talk to you, Mixie, about something that I've been seeing a lot. You know, here's the thing. I feel like a great way of connecting with people is sharing things that you hate about other people. Things that just bring you anger. Things that bring you... I love you, this. Uh, just reasons to hate people, right? God. And this segment's about me. 
Exactly. It's supposed to Is like play about us. <laughs> oh my god. Well, just tell me more great things about me. Oh fuck yeah, let's do it. What are we mad at? So I want to just say there's a few things that I've been seeing recently mm-hmm. that are, for lack of a better term, red flags for me and people right now. Okay. Things people do. Yeah. That just like you just I I don't want you to be a friend of mine mm-hmm. basically. If yeah. You, if you do this. Things that just go, make me, make, make, what are we doing? Just, just stop. Just stop. I understand so I, that. I have a few. I'm sure you might have a couple you can Oh, my brain there. is racking them up as you're talking. She's like, a few. <laughs> I'm opening that whole second half of my brain that just stores all the things that make me <laughs> mad about people. Go ahead. <laughs> so the first one I want to discuss is people who cold plunge. I just Ugh. I can't be friends. I just I I don't get it. I don't get it. It doesn't seem fun. You're ch- I, like, what other trends have you done in the past? Workout trends? Have you also been the hot yoga pe- person? Like, oh yeah. I just I don't want to hear about your cold plunge. Well, uh, so that's kind of I agree wholeheartedly with you on Ugh. the fuck the cold plunge people. If they want to do it in the comfort of their home. Go for it. You wouldn't go go to Equinox and pay $600 a month to do your stupid little cold plunges. Go Go for for it. it. Don't sit there and tell me how it's changed your life and how incredible it it is and post about it and make sure you put the time stamp on your Uh, post so everyone knows you got up at 6 a.m. to do your cold plunge. plunge. We do not care. We We don't don't care. care at all. No one cares about your cold plunge. Do it in the privacy of your own home. Also, I don't. I don't want to see it. I don't uh, care. On top of all of it, there is uh, research coming out right now. I, I don't know the specifics of it. I did read it, but it went in one ear and out the other. I just was happy that there was research coming out that yeah, cold yeah, plunges yeah, are yeah. actually bad for you. It sure sends your I, body into a fight or flight mode that should be reserved for when it needs to be sent into a fight or flight mode. But Mixie, my skin's never looked better. I don't. My skin's never looked better, <laughs> Mixie. How dare you? Look at my skin. I don't. No, I, I, I don't care. I awful. don't care. Enjoy yourself. But you're starting to become the new CrossFit and the new vegan person. Okay. And, and those people could do spoil- that without telling me about it. Spoiler alert. I bet you they're all the same person. <laughs> they probably I bet you are. there's a cold plunge thing at the CrossFit. Mm-hmm. You know? So. Yeah. Listen, if it's good for you, great. I don't need to hear about it. Yep. Do you have one that you'd like to, to throw uh, in there? I have so many, but I'm I'm, start, I'm I'm racking my brain as to which one to start with. I, I okay. will start with this one. Okay. There are okay. certain phrases that, in my mind, are they meant to be positive? Yes. Are they incredibly okay. condescending? Yes. For example, bud. Champ. I see I see where we're going with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock star. Don't Chief. fucking yes. There are yeah. people recently that have been saying these things to me, and I honestly think they are nice people, they are good people. I do not dislike these people. But I, I just feel like as a society, it's a red flag for me. If you're coming to me and saying that in a genuine, serious way, reevaluate. You are, you're, that's not, that is what I say to people I aggressively do not like. (laughs) If I think you're being a moron, I will tell you you're a rock star. Oh. That's how that works. Use it it. correctly. Got it. People that are like, hey, bud, how's it going, champ? Nope. Nope. You should not be allowed to use your vocal cords. They should be removed. How about privilege law? Kid. How about kid? On the list. Kid, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Sport. It's... You got go- oh. good job, sport. Oh, God. No. No. Just no. A buddy, guy, maybe? Guy. Guy, guy could go either way, depending on yeah. the inflection, but yes, you could put that on the list. How about. Like Rockstar really sent me recently. Yeah. How about like Bucko? 
I think that could go on the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonny? Sonny? No, I think that's no, somebody's name. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's both. Rock star, though. Like, I, I actually want to get into yeah. that. You don't mean that. No, you don't. You don't. No, you, no, you don't. So condescending. So yeah, don't condescending. Do that. Uh, here's the thing. If you use those terms, everybody knows what you're doing. Yes. It's not getting under the radar, which is what I think you want it to do. The person I experienced, I, I truly felt like they were used, they were trying to use it as like a positive thing. That's what oh. the red flag to me was, was that there was like a disconnect oh. of like understanding that that is condescending. Noted. Noted for the official record. <laughs> Whoever's keeping the official record of the show... Which would be a great job for someone, by the way. Put it on the official record. Yeah. Like, hottie is endearing, right? What's up, yeah. hottie? That's cute. That's fun. Yeah. We're having a good time. Yeah. Chief? Mm, Fuck so you. Much. Whoa. <laughs> you know? Wow. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Here's the second thing that's been getting to me recently. Okay. And, and you know what? I feel a lot of these are going to get tied back to social media, but you know what? That's how a lot of our yeah. interactions with people are. happen nowadays. Mm-hmm. So before you go, just get off social media, that's not happening. Yeah. I'm asking you to be a better person, and we're going to get to that here in just a moment. Um, This is a two-parter. Okay. If you bring nothing of value in your Instagram story, don't post. Please stop posting. Please don't. Don't just... Don't nobody wants to read the quote image that you found on somebody else's on on somebody else's thing. Yeah, nobody's reading it. Yeah, you're bringing nothing of value, and you want to know why nobody's seeing your stories because it's not interesting. It's not unique. It's not bringing anything of value. Spitting our good friend Mix here. When I see it's on her story, I know I'm about to get something that's going to be great because you know what? Yes, nothing on her story. Basically, ever. ever. When I see that little circle and Mixie's face in it and her name at the bottom, I go, whoa. You know it's a What good the fuck time. is happening in Mixie's world right Thank now? Thank you, Steven. Thank you for welcome. noticing that. Because it's either a great post or I am yes. not sober. And to me, that's, true. that's a great post. Great content. <laughs> great content. You guys just need to understand what great content is, okay? Yeah. Cool. Be your, be your own critic, you know? Maybe, be- maybe like, take a... St- Take a step yeah. back and say, Whoa. does anybody give a shit? No, no? they usually don't. Yeah, don't yeah, yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah. And you know what? I've been posting some stuff that I do at work and I find interesting. I'm like, hey, this would help us if you watch it. Also, I'm proud of this. Yeah. Look at this. But you know what is not? I don't need you to be proud of is you posting the same thing week after week after week. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, it's not, I don't need a quote. I don't need an uninteresting photo of like you at work and you're like keyboard. Yeah. I'm already looking at mine while I'm looking at yours. Mm -hmm. So please don't post that stuff. And along the same lines, if you are the type of person who like every occasionally will like post something that's like, hey, I just want to make sure you all remember that this is not real life. This is just like the best of the best that people are seeing. Uh, we all know. We all get it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And if you're going to do that, I would then ask you to take a step back from then doing yes. those things. Yes. I don't need you no one's to say, hey, you. this is not real life. Everybody's just posting the best stuff. And then. You posting the best stuff like you're you're being like, hey, isn't this bad? Look at more bad stuff. <laughs> <coughs> like. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. unless you're getting paid to do those things, which we all understand you have to do because you're making money off it. Stop. Yep. We got it. Mm-hmm. OK. Amen. Do you have any others that you want to get to? Because I got one more. I got one. I got. One, I got two I'm, more. Actually, that I, all I've of the ones that are on. coming to mind, I'm gonna get in trouble for. So okay, <laughs> okay. I was gonna say like. Stop. Stop. 
Okay. Uh huh. You go. Here's, go ahead. Here's another one I got because I'm I'm on a roll after that last one. I've I've pulled the cap off and I don't care. Hmm. Hey, I know all the people who listen to this podcast are hot. Obviously, they're yeah. they're hot. They just are, right? But if you're a hot woman and you complain about dating, I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up. I'm just gonna need you to shut the fuck up. Go. No off. one feels sorry for you, hot girl. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, it's tough for you. Not one person goes, oh, I really feel bad for Rebecca that she can't find someone. Oh, I'm going out all the time. I'm on dates every week, three yep. dates a week. Oh, all the guys you're running into are assholes and fuckboys. No way. <laughs> oh, I wonder why. Oh, really? You don't say, hot girl. Mm-hmm. The only mm-hmm. people that get to complain are people who actually struggle doing the dating. If you get one match a month, one match every other month on Bumble or Hinge, you get to complain. <laughs> if you've been on one to two first dates in six months, you get to complain. Yeah. If nobody's liking your profile, you get to complain. Mm-hmm. Sorry, hot women. I don't feel bad for you. Yeah. Just don't. I just don't. So please stop. While we're at it, can you please stop using the words in the wrong way? Stop saying gaslighting. My 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 headphone just fell out of my ear, and I don't care. I'm in now. Saying gaslighting, and he was toxic. My boss is toxic when they're just kind of mean. Let's keep those words for when people are actually toxic. Yeah. We're just losing the verbiage now. I, I'm going to have to agree with you on that. That is a red flag when people like over exaggerate yes. what is happening. I, th- th- as I'm saying that, I'm like, he I was, think I do that. So he was just am I he a red gaslit flag? me. Or was he just like kind of lying to you? Yeah. Like we, there can be levels of mm-hmm. words that mm-hmm. we need to rise to. I d- if we call everyone toxic, Guess who gets away with it? The real toxic motherfuckers get yeah. looped in with everybody else. Yeah. I thought of another red flag while you were talking. Let's go. Fuck people that <laughs> use fucking business words when they're unnecessary. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. A lot of, lot of, lot of uh, like buzzwordy type things. <sighs> Let's yeah. synergize. No, oh. Kyle, we're going to go to whatever fucking restaurant we want to go to. Shut the fuck up. We're not going to synergize yeah. about it. Eat yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Eat shit, Kyle. Not at the restaurant because I'm sure the restaurant has great food. Somebody was. Somebody said to me at one point, we were like, oh, I forget what was happening. And I'm also trying to not out the person that, that did it. But we were talking about something that was very simple, something that would take Three minutes tops. But I think, but I think this is this is part of the bigger conversation. Is people like in meetings who will just talk to feel like, oh, I need to talk to justify my job. No, yes. we all want to leave the meeting. Just, just shut the fuck up. I remember what it was. It was like a three minute at most task that was asked of someone that I was in a meeting with, and they instead of being like, oh, I can handle that. Yeah, let me take care of that. No worries. I'll. I got that. No problem, you know, as a normal person would. Let me spearhead that. I'll 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 spearhead that for you. Fuck you. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. This is what's wrong with businesses in general. When we when we all I have agree. to be like, oh the oh oh no. We'll you circle can, back. You could be I'll a person. Back. No, just 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 tell me what you thought. I told you we were gonna discuss this at this meeting or something. We don't have yeah. to circle back. Let's just get this figured out now. I don't want to be on another meeting. I'd prefer to go into the bathroom and pretend like I'm taking a giant two, but just Ugh. looking at social media the entire time. That's where I'd prefer to be at work, okay? Well, Or just don't use the word circle back. Be like, hey, yeah. I need to think on this a little bit more. Can we can we meet again later? I'm sorry. Yeah. Be hey, well, uh, a person. Be a person at work. Be a person at work. When you're not a person at work, nobody nobody likes the people at work. Okay, so here's the thing. Crazy. This podcast might have been slightly aggressive and slightly <laughs> negative. Slightly. I don't know what you're talking about. I am great. Let's. If you weren't able to tell, 
you should be able to tell where Mixie's at right now based <laughs> off the conversations we've had today. Okay? She's Oops. here for you guys right now, okay? We got Yay. her to do one of these, okay? <laughs> She's here right now. We oh, had I'll a take it as you 30 get it. minute conversation at work about how we can do stuff. We're here yeah, for Yeah, we you. did. We All did. right? You get we what you get that. right now, okay? Be happy. <laughs> Please be happy. Speaking about things that make you happy, because uh-huh. we're happy ish now. We're happy right now. Yes, we are. See, I got thrilled. her to say it out loud. That's the first step. Um, thrilled. I, thrilled. I would like to ask you, other than recording this right now, uh-huh. what else has brought you joy this week? Something that you've enjoyed? It can be TV. Obviously, it's always Walter doing something fantastic. By the oh, way, yeah. Instagram Walter is cat is a must follow, a must follow. Thank you, Stephen, for that plug. Yes, Walter yeah. really takes that work very seriously. In all honesty, uh, that's not really brought me joy because oh. he's been kind of an asshole, like demanding oh. that we get all these lights and stuff. Like the guy is like the the fame is getting to his head. It's getting a little ridiculous. I'm like Walter, you're a cat, my guy. Your ears aren't there, and you have no profile. You don't no get problem. to tell me what equipment you need for your. This is what Walter's face looks like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is. It's it is flat. It is flat, flat as an envelope. Okay? But I love him. He's an angel, baby. Um, I will say <laughs> I have a love hate relationship with The Circle on oh. Netflix, and it is back. Circle message. Circle message. I've forced you to try to watch it, and you can't do it for that reason specifically. Yes, I did ask you, are they still doing circle message? And she goes, what do you think? End quote. And I go, won't be watching. Thank you very much. She goes, but "But there's AI. And I'm like, I don't need more AI. Nobody needs more AI right now. That's another thing. Listen, (laughs) if you're a business, I don't need you putting AI in everything. Just don't have AI. I know you're doing this. Because there's some stakeholders that are like, hey, hey, I heard everybody else has got AI in their company. Might be good for our stock value if we put AI into our hamburgers. How can we do that? No, just make the hamburgers. I don't need AI hamburgers. Just stick to what you're doing. This is like deep Kentucky AI guy that just has a fuck ton of money. That's just like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some money in your company, but I want... <laughs> I gotta have that AI. I in need it. my AI grilled cheese and I need it now. You know, in order to sell this company to a VC, I gotta have that AI. I gotta have that AI. <laughs> you sound like uh, Mr. McBee of McBee Dynasty, which we need to talk oh, about we do. at a later date. We do. Another note, guys, please catch up on McBee Dynasty because gosh, is it good. It's bad. Uh, it's good. So, okay. So which well, honestly well. is kind of where I'm at with the circle. I'm enjoying okay. it because it's terrible. Um, I'm holding out hope that it gets good. The people this season are just, I'm not really rooting for anybody. There's no ads. Yeah. Uh, To be honest with you, I'm rooting for the AI because (laughs) spoiler alert, they tell them at a certain point that there is AI and they need to find the AI and they blame everyone but But the the AI. Classic. And it is amazing. Classic humans. Classic humans. Uh Uh-huh. We're... Hey, we're going to pit you against the robots, get the robots out, and then yeah. they just attack all of the other humans. All internally like fighting with movie. each other. Fantastic. And this guy will like, the AI will send a message and they're like, oh, he's so funny and cool oh, and down to earth. He and just gets blow it. past it. He gets it. I feel like I can tell him anything. He's definitely not the AI. Yeah. I, I want the AI to win. I know that they will somehow make the AI lose at a certain point because they that's not good for them. And Whoa. they also can't show their cards that AI will take over everything and they're r- way more advanced than we think it is. But it's a good time. Mixie, I just had I just had a thought, which I know can't be true because there's no way they would lie. Oh gosh, no. Are we sure the AI is like the hopper and the 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 I algorithm mean, the I algorithm mean, which is perfect and totally random and is definitely not production do we know ai is definitely not a producer I, it, it could be we do not know that for a fact i will whoa, say they whoa. gave the ai an apartment and it's just like a 
like basically like an old school what's that thing that you connect to to your monitors compute the actual computer i'm not telling you Steven, i want to see how this we goes we were almost through the episode of me <laughs> not, you continued going you didn't need to go down the path without you knowing what the words were let's the see thingy mcdoodle that that connects to the monitor Sorry, were you going to correct me? No, I wasn't. No. How dare I would correct a, a, a lady on this show? It's just like a column with like lights on it. And they're like, this is the AI. So much better when I don't help you for things like this. It's Is it the computer? It's, it's the computer itself is the tower? Yeah! Is it? Yay! Is it actually? Yeah, it's a computer oh, okay. tower. Yeah, wow. Huh. It, it was there. You got Honestly, there. Honestly, highlight of my week, figuring Jesus. out what the computer is. Guys, if you're only about. listening, she put the, her arm on the back of her chair. I, I felt accomplished. She was exhausted from that. She was just like, whoo, get me that, a cigarette. Yeah, please. Not that I would smoke those. That's wrong. Oh, you almost, <laughs> almost outed yourself from a year and a half ago where you said you definitely don't <laughs> smoke. I do. I don't do that. Almost That's bad. It's not good. It's really not good. Okay, I'll tell you something that brings me this joy. Uh, joy this week. I have done incredible work to really refine the algorithm for the TikTok, so I get a lot of animal videos. Oh, okay? that's good. That's that's good, Stephen. That's a Thank great you. use of your time and energy. Thank you very much. I, when I get an animal video, am smart about this. And I go, I would like more animal videos and less hot girls complaining about dating. Because, again, (laughs) no one's feeling sorry for you. Hot girls, I'm sorry. So, I will watch the videos to the end. I'll give it a like at the end. Maybe I'll throw a comment. What a precious baby. And then it goes, oh, this guy wants more animal videos. Yeah. And I'm getting ducks. I get chickens. I get oh. goats. Goats doing weird flips off playground equipment. Yes, that's good stuff. It's been phenomenal. Got a lot of golden retriever stuff. I'm getting I'm Ooh. getting animals everywhere. And it Ooh. brings me the joy of getting a really nice feed. And obviously what that means is I'm also getting all the Miss Peaches content. I'm getting all of it. And today, so Miss Peaches is on her way to the gala. Ugh, oh, I can't wait. With the gown that somebody made for Miss Peaches, with the attachable Ugh. train for Miss yes. Peaches' gown. And honestly, She's a star. I'm so excited for Miss Peaches to be on the red carpet. I'm excited for Miss Peaches as well. I'm also excited to see Gypsy Rose's plastic surgery, but. Why, why did you have to do that at the end? I'm on a high right now. <laughs> I didn't she just, kill my she mom. Just... <laughs> Debatable. I feel like you went to jail because of that, but you know. Allegedly. It's, it, once you're convicted, <laughs> you don't have to say allegedly. I know we're trying to be careful. You don't have to be careful, okay? I'm on a high right now. <laughs> I got a nose job. You know what's also bringing me joy? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one more because you tried to bring me down at the end, and I'm not staying for it. I'm finishing strong. I'm finishing on it up. No. Okay. Go ahead. And go this ahead. is something that I know we both enjoy. If you or your friends are making any sort of content related to making fun of Joe Jesse was a uh, single karma, send it our way. <laughs> bring us all the videos. If you're putting the kiss makeup on and then you're doing the ah, it's voice, not, <laughs> send it our way. I want to see It's not the kiss him. makeup. It's not the kiss makeup. Jojo Siwa invented gay pop. And how dare you compare her? Everything she's doing is completely unique and special to her. And she's right. definitely not taking other people's stuff. And she's definitely not acting like she's come up with something that's always existed. It was no. always hers. It was never somebody else's song. The melody Dream is guess on clearly a podcast. different. <laughs> clearly different melody. And you know what? My untrained, dumb, 
not musically ears are going, huh, those melodies sound exactly the same. But it just shows you how big of an idiot me and Mixie are. All right? That we go, that oh, uh, bad girl. They sound the same. No, we're just dumb. And you know who's better than us? JoJo Siwa. Yeah. She was a bad girl and she did some bad things. Here's here's a here's a hot here's a hot take. I don't think she did, and I don't think she was. I think she was the exact opposite of that. How dare you question her? She's been nothing but truthful this whole time. I saw her car at one point. Oh, same. At a Starbucks in LA, and I was like, oh my god, Jojo Siba's about to get out of that car. It pulled up, just some dude, and I was like, what the? F- you don't you don't get to drive the Jojo Siwa car around if you're not Jojo Siwa in it, okay? That that's what, like what a letdown. That, she would make great money if she like rented that out for an hour for people great to drive idea. around in and just pull up at random businesses. Yeah. And like, oh my god, it's Jojo Siwa. Oh my god, and they start recording. And it's just like Brian and his boys <laughs> getting out. You know, going out night out on the town in Jojo Siwa's car. I they- want to do it. I want to do it so bad. Just drive Let's up to catch. Car, Jojo Siwa. Oh, we're we just going to drive up. Oh, Jojo Siwa, please listen to us right now. <laughs> we love you. We love you immensely. Please let us rent one of your cars for the weekend, and we can like go to L.A. places, like pull up to the valet at catch, and the Ooh. people are like, oh, my God, Jojo Siwa's here. The paparazzi's ready, and it's just me and Mix get out. <laughs> just me and Mix get out. Okay? Yeah. Great content. With our Jojo Bobos. Yeah, we'll like go down to the beach in Santa Monica, right? Yeah. And, like, park in like the public, ooh, gross parking, right? Yeah. People are like, oh yeah. my God, Joe just was at the beach. No, Steven Mix. <laughs> Dream guest on a podcast. <laughs> Joe just was in the recording. That was her. Oh, can we get on Joe just podcast? How can we make this happen? Uh, there's no chance. <laughs> Okay. All right. I would be good. Here. I think. Uh, it would Who be knows? Uh, listen, it would be good stuff. All right, guys. It would be good stuff. That wraps it up. Uh thank you very much. If you made it this far and you didn't just like unsubscribe halfway through the podcast, we appreciate <laughs> that. Uh we love you very much. Uh we look forward to trying to do things more regularly for you. That is the plan. Yes. We have to work on that. Yes. So uh, we don't want to get... announce something and yes. then take it back later. So we're yes. going to solidify a game plan. Yes. And then inform you. Yes. As we always try to do. Yes. But that's it. Okay. We love you. If you want to send yes. us encouraging messages, feel free to do that too. <laughs> you know, they don't just have to be, you know, you know, laces out, Dan. Die, Dan, <laughs> laces out. You know, something like that. If you get that reference, shout out. We love you very much. We'll see you later. She- oh, man, All right, and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye.